Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm a nurse and I'm going to show you how to take a manual blood pressure. Um, I have here a blood pressure cuff. You can get it even just at Walmart or at a drugstore. You can pick up one of these and they have um, an air pump connected and the gauge. This one actually came with a stethoscope connected to it, but it was a really cheap plastic one and I don't like it, so I took mine off. Um, so I have my own stethoscope, so you'll need both parts to take a blood pressure manually. So I have Rachel here and we're gonna take her blood pressure. So the cuffs will usually say on them. This one does not, but if it doesn't say it right about where these tubes are connected is where you want their artery to go. So right here on her arm is about where I'm gonna want that to be. So mine, slip her arm through here and I'll put these about right here. And then I'll tighten the cuff. This one's just a Velcro one. So you want it to be snug to start with. So then on my cuff here, this gauge has a little clip on it that I can put here so that I can look at it without having to hold that with an extra hand. So then I'll get my stethoscope and um, this part here just goes right under the lip of the cuff, just right under on her arm, on the skin. So I'll hold that with one hand and then I'll inflate the cuff here. So if you know they have high blood pressure, you might need to inflate it a little bit higher. Um, a textbook normal blood pressure is 120 over 80, so I like to inflate it about to 160 and just gradually decrease it. So you squeeze the air pump so it fills it up to about where you want it, and it gets tight on their arm. Then you'll gradually let the air out, and you'll watch the gauge here, and you'll listen. And when you can hear their pulse through the stethoscope, you'll notice the needle on the gauge is starting to bounce up and down as well. That will be the top number. So that's right there for her. You'll gradually let the air out. And then when you stop hearing their pulse, that will be the bottom number. Okay. So that was 110 over 70 for you. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a really good blood pressure. Um, again, a textbook normal is 120 over 80. Um, what does lower blood pressure mean? So a lower blood pressure is not necessarily a bad thing unless the person is getting dizzy when they stand up or feeling like they're going to faint, then that's something to be concerned about. Lower is usually better to a point. You don't want it to be way too low or else, again, they might pass out. Um, but higher is where the issues usually arise. So ideally when you do take a blood pressure, you'll want the person's arm to be close to the level of where their heart is at. You don't want it to be clear up high or hanging down next to them. You want it to be about level. Um, it's best to have their feet flat on the floor. Um, you don't want them to be sitting cross-legged. That can affect what the reading is. Um, again, a normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. That's textbook normal. It can fluctuate from that a bit though. Um, the top number is the systolic number and that's how much pressure is going through your vessels when the heart is contracting. And the bottom number is called the diastolic and that's the measurement of pressure when the heart is relaxed. So a lot of people ask me what those numbers mean, so that's, that's what they are. Um, high blood pressure should definitely be checked by your doctor. If it's up around like 140s over 90, then I would recommend definitely um, talking to your doctor about it, especially if it's consistently higher. If it's lower, if you're having issues with um, passing out or feeling like you're going to faint when you stand up or kind of getting dizzy or um, like spots when you stand up because you have really low blood pressure. You can also talk to your doctor about what to do with that. Um, hydration sometimes can affect it because if there's less volume then there's less pressure. So sometimes you just need to drink more. Um, but if you're having issues or you're concerned or your numbers you're not sure what they are, you can't quite get an accurate read this way or they're Hi, then give your doctor a call, get checked out, find out what you need to do to get those numbers where they need to be. Um, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.